Your score was amongst the top ranking cowgirls at 88. And okay. that's why you were invited to first interview. Um, the first interview had a single purpose. It was to define your journey as a cowgirl. Okay. And okay. after our leadership team reviewed your interview, uh, the recommendation came through loud and clear that your journey as a cowgirl was very strong. And that's why you received uh, an invitation for a second interview. Okay. Now the second interview had a single purpose also. And that <laughs> was ensuring that there was alignment between you and our corporate journey. And after the leadership review of your second interview, uh, there's no doubt that our journeys are clearly aligned. And we would be so proud to have you accept the American Cowgirl 24 position in our lineup. That's not bad. <laughs> you accept that? Yeah, you okay. gotcha. So anyways, there's a few follow-up items. Hi, I'm Charlotte Ward from the Grange, Wyoming, and I'm an American cowgirl. Today, it all begins. I'm seeing my life for the very first time through a different lens. Yesterday, I didn't understand. Driving 35 with the rocket inside Didn't know what I had While I've been waiting to live My life's been waiting on me I'm gonna run No, I'm gonna fly I'm gonna know what it means to live And my journey Not enough is what I've been told But it must be a lie Cause the spirit inside says I'm so much more So let them say what they want Oh, I dare them to try
love Wyoming. To me, um, it, it's just the way America used to be. There's such a sense of community here in our little community. Something happens and people that aren't family, but probably better than family sometimes, band together to help out. And, you know, nobody does their work alone, really. Um, a neighbor's helping or, um, you know, we, we just bear each other's burdens. And that's the way God designed things to be. And it's just so nice after coming from a town like El Paso where everybody's just out for themselves. Um, it, it's nice to be in a community where it's one for one for all and all for one. And uh, yeah, I just I just it just feels more natural to bear each other's burdens and help each other out, and, which it should because that's what Scripture says it should be. When the best of me is barely breathing When I'm not somebody I believe in Hold on to me When I miss the light, the night is stolen When I'm slamming all the doors you've opened Hold on to me Hold on to me Hold on to me when it's too dark to see you When I am sure any man any day of the week I mean I've watched that woman carry grain bags and stiletto high heels in a dress after church <laughs> uh, she is just as hardworking as they come and she's one of those people that is in your corner all day long um, and whenever you start to falter in faith or or whatever you know she she has scripture to back that up and she she's gonna make sure she brings you back to to God and the plan and the design and um, if if I could just be a quarter of the woman that she is I, I think I'll be I'll be doing pretty darn great The battle, you see my 